Good morning, guys. It is currently 3.35 a.m. I think I went to bed at midnight. I am so tired. But I am on my way um, to the airport. So as you guys can see from the title, I am going to Las Vegas this weekend. And one of the ways that we save money when flying on Spirit is not having to pay for a bag. So you're allowed one personal item. So this is considered my personal item. And the dimensions are here. And so it fits the Spirit um, personal item guidelines. And I got this from Walmart. So yeah, um, I think I had mentioned in my last video, like Vegas is a very expensive trip. So we saved money by um, Flying Spirit. to the airport it is 5 43 the flight leaves at 6 50 and they start boarding at 605 um so i'm waiting for my friend she's still in line getting um checked so i definitely plan on sleeping on the flight Rick. I'm hoping to um at least get a couple hours because i only slept like three hours last night and i'm so tired and we land in Vegas at 8.10, but um, we can't check in until three. So we're going to send our luggage to like this storage place so that we can start exploring the city. So this is just an overview of like the food court area here at Bush um, Airport in Houston, Texas. So lots of options. Also, I did get breakfast um, at Shipley's. I had one donut um, and coffee, of course. So I'm not very hungry. I'm not gonna get anything to eat here, I don't think. Um, we are gonna go to breakfast when we land. But y'all, I have just not really been hungry lately. I don't really know what it is. I am on my cycle, so that probably has a lot to do with it. I'm just, I, ha I got two donuts and I only ate one because I'm just not hungry. So, um, yeah. So that was like a little overview of the airport. And I will try to get some footage of me boarding and then when we land. Okay, y'all, I have just landed in Las Vegas, Nevada. Absolutely love this airport. I was here in 2017, and those are my two friends. I absolutely love this airport. And in this scene, we have just dropped off our luggage for the day until we can check into the hotel. Okay, y'all, so our first stop of the day is called Ocean One Bar and Grill. And so, of course, I've never been here before. So, um, this is kind of like a little mini brunch spot. We're going to try to get some food and just have a good time and see how it goes. So, we stayed at the Flamingo Hotel on the Strip. So, after we checked in, we headed out the back side of the hotel, which leads to the High Roller, which was our first, like, big activity of the day. trying to give y'all some views of <laughs> our balcony area from the hotel 
so this is our third activity of the day which um brought us into the nighttime so everything else that you guys saw i know it looks really fast in this video but it actually like took up our whole day um so we are on our way to get dinner our hotel is again on the strip across from caesar's palace and i'm just giving y'all some nighttime views because this is just beautiful to me and um oh there's the eiffel tower or their rendition of it and for dinner we decided to go to hell's kitchen which is super hard to get reservations there i have actually never seen the show on food network but they have it playing in the restaurant um with like the blue and red team and all that i've never seen it but it definitely intrigued me because i love watching the food network so i probably will go and watch it the food was pretty good okay y'all so we are back at the hotel we are done for well two-thirds of us are done for the night um and so this is a recap of day one of what i spent so far in vegas so first we have the um we stored our luggage at this place inside of a gas station i don't really know how it works but it was super convenient because um we got here super early this morning and we couldn't check in until four so that cost 717 then we did the high roller um ferris wheel for 7150 uh actually we did ocean one first for brunch but that was 2438 um really good deal so if y'all come to vegas and you want to get i mean the food like such huge portions and it was just a great deal that's food and drinks 2438 and then Hell's Kitchen was $39.61. I just had some chicken and some macaroni. And then my total for today is $142.66. Um, so, so far, um, I'm doing pretty good budget-wise. Um, I gave myself like $600 for the trip. Um, but I don't think I'm going to end up spending that. So, that's exciting. Okay, y'all. So, tomorrow... Um, I'll take y'all along the day, see what we do, and then we'll come back at the end of the day for another financial recap. All right, so it is day two, y'all. We are leaving the hotel. We're getting ready to go get brunch, and then um, I think we're going to the Wax Museum next. It could change. It could change, <laughs> but yeah. So welcome to day two in Vegas. After brunch, we went to this place called the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. They just have like little snacks and coffee and it's a really good place. Um, I forgot the name of the hotel that it's inside of, but it's also located where Madame Tussauds is, AKA the Wax Museum. So let's get inside and see what this is like. wax museum we went to downtown las vegas to do zip lining at slotzilla and actually i've zip lined twice before in my life and absolutely hated it so my friend was the only one who did it <laughs> tonight and i was her designated camera woman so that was after the museum she did a great job i'm so proud of her and then after this we went to get dinner our last stop of the day was at nacho daddy which is a mexican restaurant okay y'all so this is the end of day two so y'all know for day one i spent 142.66 total for day two we went to alexa's which is a brunch spot and that was 70 dollars including the tip then i stopped by a coffee shop 
but I really didn't need to stop there. Like, I didn't even finish the coffee. I think I just wanted some. So that was 10.19, um, plus a muffin. The Wax Museum was 44.16. Um, Uber, I paid for an Uber, 16.38. And then Nacho Daddy was 48.51, also including the tip. So my total for today was 189.24. And then total for my first two days in Vegas, I'm at like three something. I calculated it, but um, I don't remember the total. So, so far for one person in Vegas, I spent like 300 and something dollars. Again, that does not include the hotel. That does not include the flight. We saved money on the flight. Um, it's now four of us here in the hotel room. There was three, but one of our friends drove down from LA today. So um, we're, we're going to end up getting some of our hotel money back, I think like $50. So I think I'll end up spending like 140 something for my hotel, my portion of the hotel for two nights. Yeah, for two nights, so it's not bad. And then three of the four of us uh, we flew on spirit so my spirit and it was still like expensive like southwest and the other airlines were out of control with these vegas prices they were like charging six to eight hundred dollars for a round trip so we booked our spirit flight maybe a couple weeks ago and we got a round trip for like 245 one of my friends booked her trip pretty late on spirit like a few days before and she paid like 340 something for a round trip. So Vegas, Vegas tickets are expensive. So if y'all can catch deals or get your tickets ahead of time, please do so. So um, I think we kind of have more things that we did today. Um, tomorrow I am projecting to spend a lot less. But again, I don't know. I still have like 300 and something dollars left in, no. 268 i have 268 left in the budget to spend for this weekend and tomorrow is my last day and i know i'm not going to spend that so that's a very good thing and um yeah we'll be here all day tomorrow and then our flight leaves monday morning at midnight and we'll be back in texas in houston like five to six o'clock um houston time monday morning So our first stop after we checked out of the hotel Sunday afternoon was back at Ocean One. We got lunch and dessert. It was amazing. Then we went to a place called X360, which has like virtual adventures. I did a roller coaster and like another ride, like a Ferris wheel type of ride. It's very exhilarating. Um, and we did some more things, but I didn't get the clips of them. This is Sunday night. We we're having dinner at Flower and Barley. I just got some chicken alfredo pasta. After we had dinner, um, we headed back to the airport to head home. Okay, y'all. So this is day three. Um, I think I stopped filming at the restaurant when I, when I got the, um, the pasta, we did do a few more activities, but y'all, I think I was just like, so kind of tired. Um, I didn't pick the camera back up, but so for day three, I did the um, store my luggage again for 717. Um, we went back to Ocean One. I think that was the clip of the dessert that y'all saw. And I got lunch and dessert for 3119, which is not bad. Then I went to X360, which is a um, like virtual, um, you know how you can go to those places and do like virtual roller coasters, do virtual, that's what, um, X360 is. <clears throat> so I did two rides for $36.98. They kind of played me on that, but I let them make it. Um, <laughs> then, um, my friend and I went back to the Flamingo because I remember seeing that they had um some spot massages in like the lobby area and i wanted to get one so that was 50 and then i gave them a 10 dollar tip it was like a little full body massage it was really nice um and then flower and barley is the restaurant with the pizza pasta that was 31.97 we um flower and barley i believe that was before we went back to the hotel so the massage and the snacks we went back to the hotel so that was 1945 for snacks 
and then we caught an uber back to um the airport and it was my turn to pay for one so i did then at the airport i got a water the machine said it was 410 but when i looked at my bank statement my bank statement said like a dollar and something so yeah i don't know um and then when i got back to houston i had to go get my car and so parking was a total of 3177 and I put 242.18 right there as like my day three total, but that does include the parking. Without the parking, it would be a little bit um, less than that. My flight, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, to fly Spirit round trip to Vegas was 245. Y'all know I round stuff. And then the hotel for the four of us to stay in one room was 144 per person. And for this trip, I spent a total of $963.08. It was an amazing trip. I definitely recommend going to Vegas. It's just an amazing city. People do a lot of smoking there, so just be prepared for that. We call it Sig City, because they were lighting them. People were swallowing cigarettes, I swear. So um, <laughs> that is going to conclude this video. Um, your girl will be sitting down for a while because between moving in January and losing money on my New Orleans trip last month and then spending almost $1,000 in Vegas this month, I will be sitting down. My next possible trip will be in May, if not May, um, July will be the next trip. And then I may do one more after July because y'all know I'm using my Fetch Rewards to try to fund like myself a solo trip at the end of this year. I already have enough points for the hotel, so I just need to get some more points for the flight. So we'll see if I can reach that goal, but yeah i'm going to be sitting down for a couple months to save money and i will possibly see y'all back with another travel vlog in may if not may i will see you back in july bye